Hey guys, it has been a while. It has been a great while. Uh, I'm figuring on all kinds of things in life. Um, but today I just ordered $700 worth of parts um, for this, this beautiful girl. Uh, it's gonna get full front end suspension kit, control arms, upper control arms, lower control arms, tie rods, axles, brakes, the whole nine yards. Uh, the back is pretty good. Uh, just gonna freshen it up and then do, uh, uh, we did do brakes on the back just recently. Um, we're gonna do new hubs for the back. Uh, it's a hub assembly with the bearing. It's all assembled as one. The front is separate. So the front, I do have to take the hub and the giant arm knuckle, whatever that holds the hub together. You gotta take that away, bring it to someone to get it pressed, do that. And then we'll, uh, we'll put her back together. But yeah, she is sitting on a set of Godspeed coilovers. Uh, do need to replace one of the shocks in the back. It recently blew. Um, and then on a set of Cosmos uh, racing wheels, um, XT 206Rs. Uh, love the wheels, absolutely love them. I think it looks absolutely dope on this car. Um, don't mind the mess. It's incredibly, incredibly wet where we are right now. Um, it's just raining, which we need it. We didn't have a whole lot of snow, so it's going to be great for the farmers. But anyways, um, yeah, we're going to do all this parts, uh, get a wheel alignment and then, uh, she should be mint for a while. Uh, we do in the near future here want to be ordering a, or going to be not ordering. Um, we're going to get a new motor for this thing. Uh, this motor is, has seen better days. Um, it's starting to leak oil out the head. Um, it's not the most, you know, powerful motor or whatever. So we're just gonna get a donor motor. Something with low kilometers, a lot lower than what this is. It's like 315,000 or something like that. Anyways, it's up there. Body is in phenomenal shape and the car is in phenomenal shape. So me and my wife just want to keep it in good shape um, and do what's necessary to get it fixed uh, and get it working nice and, uh, and have a you know, fun little summer car. Uh, we do have a Ford Flex for our family. Um, Got to fix that, which I'll probably show you guys on the channel as well soon. Um, we do want to order a lot of parts for that thing. But that's another story in the future. But for now, we will just do this car and uh, have some fun. So I'll take you guys along with it. We do have a decent sized box. It's, well, two boxes, not decent sized, but two boxes full of parts. So there's a bunch of parts in there, right? From control arms to everything that you can imagine on a, on a car, right? Everything that you can think about that's on cars. Yeah, suspension wise, that is what I ordered. So that this thing could be finally new, fresh and drive amazing. So I guess I forgot to mention, this is a 2009 Ford Fusion SEL. Um, it is an automatic. The motor that we're getting will have a trans, uh, obviously a transmission. Uh, um, it will have a manual transmission in it, uh, which we'll be doing a manual swap in this car, hopefully in the near future or so. But uh, yeah, just unbox all the parts. I'll bring you guys through all the parts. I'll have a link to the description link in the description as to where all the parts are from um and if you guys want to order them if you guys have a 2009 um well i guess it would fit later years as well i think what is it 2006 to 2009 or 2012 uh i think that's how long they made the first gen anyways this is the first gen um 
I don't know about the second gen, what parts all fit. I would assume the second gen is pretty darn close to the same. Um, they might have changed some things. I know they made some of the sport models all wheel drive, so obviously things would change there. Um, but yeah, here's just a little, just a little get together as to how many parts I got, what I all got. Um, and then I'll uh, slap them on the car. So we got a rear hub assembly, comes with the bearing, everything assembled. And then you got your teeth, your spindle for the uh, ABS sensor to read your uh, wheel speed. Um, the front is where I was saying how I have to get this pressed onto the hub itself uh, into the assembly. Um, so that's separate. And you got your, uh, I believe these are, uh, these are the middle lower control arms, these two. And then these are your ones on the um, inside part of the uh, arm. It's got two separate control arms on the bottom. Here's your two upper control arms, your outer tie rods, your inner tie rods. And then uh, we got some uh, ceramic pads from uh, Detroit Axle is the company's name. Um, They're out of Detroit, Michigan. Um, and then a full drilled and slotted rotors for the front. Uh, we do have drilled and slotted rotors in the back, um, which I recently did. And uh, I do hopefully want to order a powder coating kit to clean up a little bit of that rust that you see in there. Um, it was that shiny aluminum or steel that it's like this. So we want to eventually powder coat these so that the outer rim and that is in black um, powder coating definitely helps to prevent with a bunch of rust that comes on brakes but anyways let's uh let's get them on the car and uh, hopefully get a wheel line here shortly <laughs> Okay, so we're back from the press shop. Just got the hub pressed in. Um, 
all fresh and new. Uh, just doing some quick uh, brush sanding on the metal. I'm gonna clean it up, make it look a lot better, a lot, lot nicer looking. Well, while that does some drying, uh, like I said, just use this decent paint. Um, it went on pretty well. These sprayer nozzles are always really tough to uh, spray, I find. Um, but yeah, uh, he says it does well, my buddy, and uh, let's, let's hopefully it stays that way. But yeah, let's get to the rest of the parts here. Um, ripping the rest of that all out. I do want to clean up the brakes and paint them as well. Okay, so upper control arm is coming out. This boy. Um, one of the lower control arms is in. The tie rod outer and inner are both in. Uh, lower control arm, the other side, the middle one, that's gonna go in here shortly. Just getting that top one done. And then one side is gonna be finished. And then again, you just repeat it on the other side. Oh, so there you go, guys. I just uh, finished this side. Um, I did tell you that we got axles. Uh, we were having some issues with the people that we bought the axles from. Um, so I got to figure out what's going on there. Uh, so for now, we're just going to keep the old axle in there, obviously, so we can drive. Um, but as uh, soon as that axle is here, both sides are going to get replaced. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to repeat it on the other side. Okay, so we are all done after a very long messy day Started our day in the light and now it's a dark time. But anyways, just like I said in the video uh, Repeat the process just on the other side figured probably didn't even see it you guys seen this side It's pretty straightforward lower control arms upper control arm all your bolts all your accessories obviously you torque them I torqued everything to spec. It's all ready to go. I'm gonna drive the car out, clean up the shop, and uh, head on home. So if you haven't liked this video, like the video. If you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Thanks, and we'll see you on the next one.